is going to be on my June favorites. So if you're interested in all of the products that I've been loving for this month, just keep watching. By the way, if you guys hear anything, it's because it's raining. I feel like every single time that I sit down to film, it just starts pouring and it's driving me crazy, but it's not gonna prevent me from filming. So the first product that I tried and I've been loving this month is a Glossier lip gloss and it's just a clear, transparent lip gloss. It's what I'm wearing today. It's not one of those lip glosses that you put on and in five minutes you don't have a lip gloss on your lips. It stays on your lips, it's thick, but it's not sticky. It's the only thing that I've been wearing this month. Honestly, I'm really into the whole glossy lip look for summer. Glosses just tend to look better on my lips because they're so dry. And I honestly don't think I've tried a gloss that I like more than this one. This kind of reminds me of my childhood, like the first lip glosses that I ever wore, except it doesn't have like a flavor at all. It doesn't taste or smell like anything. It's literally just a lip gloss. I tried the Glossier Super Bounce this month and it's one out of the three serums that they have. This is the first one that kind of called my attention because it's more targeted for making your skin look supple. I have dry skin so sometimes no matter how much I try to moisturize and take care of my skin it's gonna look dull. It's gonna look dehydrated. It's just not gonna look good. So anything that claims to make your skin look more supple or provide more like moisture is definitely something that i'm drawn to so this is the first one that i tried and honestly after trying this one i think i have to try the other ones because this stuff is awesome i'm wearing it today i have been wearing it every single day that i've put on like makeup even days that i don't really wear a lot of makeup i've actually used this without a moisturizer and surprisingly it works very well by itself i haven't seen a difference in like my texture or blemishes and things like that but then again it doesn't claim to do none of that it just claims to provide more suppleness and i really noticed that throughout the day when i look at my skin in the mirror it looks healthier. The next thing are some wireless headphones and I honestly really love wireless headphones. I love not being attached to something. So ever since wireless headphones came out, I've just been all about them. So I was so incredibly happy when this company reached out to me in the beginning of, was it this month or the end of last month? I think it was the beginning of this month, but honestly, I've always had my eyes on these and I was going to purchase them, but since my boyfriend got me the Beats for Christmas, I just didn't end up purchasing them. They're the Studio Sweden, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing the name right, but I believe that's how you pronounce them. And they're just these white and rose gold, beautiful headphones. And I really, really love these. I use these for everything, the audio on these is really really good for how small they are they just go right in your ear and it kind of blocks out background noise obviously these aren't like the huge professional headphones that block out every single thing but it does a really good job when my boyfriend tries to talk to me and i have these on i cannot hear him i have to take them off so personally i really love them and they were nice enough to give me a discount code for you guys for 15 percent off of anything that you purchase on their website so I honestly really do think these headphones are awesome and they're so aesthetically pleasing. Aside from the fact that they're actually good, they look really, really cute. Next are actually the rings that I'm wearing. These are by Majuri and I'm pretty sure that I've talked about Majuri before. They're just this amazing jewelry company that makes the most beautiful, simple, minimal, gorgeous, dainty pieces that i've ever seen i got two rings i got a smaller i believe it's called their twist ring which is just a very very minimal ring that has kind of like a twist effect to it i do have a larger one which i wear on my other hand but i wanted like the pinky one so i got one for there and then i paired it with this beautiful ring i think this is called their dual ring and it's the one that has the opal stone and above it, it has a black stone and i actually think this is a collaboration with tamara here on youtube if you guys don't follow her channel you definitely should she's one of my favorites i absolutely love her style and her videos and she just did such a good job at creating this ring i have honestly never come across a jewelry company before that i go on their site 
and I genuinely want every single thing. So definitely check out Majuri if you haven't already. I honestly cannot say enough good things about this brand. I went to get a haircut and a treatment at the beginning of this month and I got a new shampoo. I've been using it for a month and so far I really like it. Uh, I know that today is probably not the best day for me to be talking about my hair because I haven't done anything to it. It may be a little frizzy and it may have like its texture or whatever but i didn't feel like doing it i don't know if you guys know this but i have a thyroid condition i had mentioned it in my 50 facts about me video i think uh and one of the side effects that having a thyroid condition gives you is hair loss or like a lot of shedding so it's something that i've struggled with i just shed like a uh, husky in the summer okay i i shed a lot and i'm constantly trying to find products that kind of cater to people who have hair loss because i'm not trying to be bald by the time that i'm 50. i did try a new shampoo it's called biotin amino acetyl i think that's how you pronounce that and it says it's for hair loss prevention and it's by the brand arot i don't know where my hairdresser gets these things but she just sells like products that she thinks are good and i always buy like a thing or two from her because i honestly think she's awesome so far i really like it i only bought the shampoo i don't have a conditioner for this this doesn't like moisturize my hair i have very dry hair which is another side effect from having a thyroid condition your hair and your skin and everything just gets super dry so i just have dry hair and textured hair so this doesn't really do much for the dryness of my hair but it has decreased my shedding a bit obviously i should get the conditioner to see if the conditioner is good at moisturizing my hair i probably will next time i go but my shedding in the shower and things like that has decreased i also got another product from her which i still want to try out a little bit more it's some drops that i've been putting in every time that my hair is dirty i just sleep with it i massage it into my head and that's supposed to also help prevent hair loss so i don't know if it's the combination of these two things i don't want to talk about the other one yet because i haven't tried it for long enough but so far i like the shampoo i've been using it for a month now and i will continue to use it and i do recommend it moving into fashion favorites i only have one favorite this month i have a feeling that i'm gonna have a lot of fashion favorites for next month because i did purchase quite a few things this month and i got quite a few things i'm just gonna try them out and i'll probably mention those pieces for next month but for this month this has been my favorite piece i am obsessed with gingham lately for the summer and i got this cute little romper which looks like this in the back of course like always i will insert some blog pictures that i took but i really really love this it is just a piece that i throw on and that's it my outfit is complete i just throw some sandals on and my little woven bag next i have this little guy this is a little wooden mannequin and i've honestly always wanted one of these you can just move its limbs however you want and it's just so cute i have this on my desk and i got it from a website called banggood they reached out to me and this website just has so many cool things from like vacuum cleaners to home decor, such a cool website. I think it's the perfect piece to put like on your nightstand or on your desk or like to layer in front of a frame. Next, if you saw my home decor haul, you would have seen me talk about amber bottles. This is the amber bottle that I'm loving lately. I just really love any amber or old vintage apothecary bottles for vases i love to use them as vases and this is the one that i bought in the beginning of this month or the end of last month i can't remember but this guy sits on my nightstand and i just really love the way that this looks i'm not gonna get too into it because i talked about it in my home decor haul and i also did like a blog post where i talked about amber bottles but you can pretty much find them anywhere uh i got this one on etsy but i know that amazon has some I just really, really love amber bottles lately. This month, I actually got a vanity, and it's not really considered a vanity. It's actually the mini uh, mid-century desk from West Elm, but I converted it into a vanity. I'm still waiting for my chair, which should be arriving soon. And it's just so comfortable, and I have all of the makeup that I wear on a daily basis, 
in it. I've organized it using Muji organizers. If you guys saw my desk slash vanity tour that I did for my old room and my old desk, you would have seen the organizers that I use. I use the same ones for this desk and they all fit perfectly. This drawer is really wide, very, very comfortable. So I think this is the perfect like mid-century vanity situation uh, for me at least. And it sits right next to my bed because it matches perfectly with the nightstand that I have in the other side of the bed. So I really wanted my own section like to put makeup on and things like that. Next, if you guys saw my kitchen tour, you would have seen these, which by the way, I just wanted to thank you guys. You guys left so many sweet comments. I got so much positive, like overwhelmingly positive feedback in that video. And I just wanted to thank you guys for that. But if you saw that video, you would have seen this little guy. This is my canister that i got from create and barrel i got it for the coffee and i got the bigger one for the sugar i was in between these and some white ones from west elm the ones that say coffee and sugar on them from west elm but i'm really glad i went with these because i like the fact that you can see what's inside and it kind of gives your kitchen a little bit more character and it makes it look a little bit more like rustic looking as opposed to having like white everywhere i just really like how these look i really really love the color of the wood on top if you're in the market for canisters i definitely recommend that you check out crate and barrel they have beautiful beautiful canisters for food this month i know that i talked about halo top last month i think it was was it last month or the month before i don't know but i mentioned their birthday cake flavor and i tried another one of their flavors because the Publix by my house is just like halo top heaven it has so many flavors and it's just like overwhelming so i tried a new flavor and it's their peanut butter cup and if you guys like Reese's peanut butter cups, I definitely recommend that you try this. It tastes just like actual peanut butter. This lasted like two days in my house. This is actually empty. I'm just using it to show you guys. And no, I am not sponsored by Halo Top. Halo Top has no idea who I am. I just really like this ice cream. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This is the flavor that I discovered this month. And I, just, I, needed, I needed to share it because it's just so good and my last favorite for the month is actually my blog and i know that sounds a little vain but i've really been trying to make an effort to blog more often i've been posting three blogs a week and i've been dedicating a lot more time to my blog i love blogging i love writing i always have that's why i started a blog years and years and years ago i started a blog before instagram before youtube before everything i just I enjoy it and I've been incorporating a new series into my blog called The Friday Five where I talk about just random things that happen to me throughout the week or products that I've been loving or like Pinterest posts that I've been loving. Every Friday I post five things and Mondays and Wednesdays I post other things. So I really love making videos, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I either forget to mention something or I don't want to go too in depth into something because i don't want the video to be like 20 minutes long so that's another reason why i just really love blogging and i've always loved it but this month in particular i've just been making more of an effort to post more content on there and finally the show that i watched this month that i really really loved is called the last kingdom again you guys already know the drill i'm always the last person to watch a show i really enjoyed it and i think you guys would too if you're into that kind of show and that kind of storyline as always if you guys have any show recommendations please let me know in the comments below i love to hear your recommendations and i am currently on the hunt for another show and that is everything for my favorites this month thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video